Hello, welcome back to Chat About It. Don't shout about it with me, Rachel, aka the Queen of the Book, as crowned by one of my haters. Now, this video, I'm going to do a cold read on an article with you, and it's about Dr. Hill. So I'm reacting in real time to this article from Deadline. Doctor Who producer Jane Tranter says British TV tax credit must be updated amid over-reliance on Hollywood investment. Did they really put that much money in? Goodness me. Goodness me. All right, well, let's get into that and see what she means by that. First of all, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Let's carry on. Jane Tranter, the co-founder of Doctor Who and his Dark Materials producer, Bad Wolf, has called on the UK government to update British television tax credits to promote domestic investment. Tranta, one of the UK's most highly regarded producers, said television's voice got lost in the UK's recent spring budget, which introduced a game-changing 40% British indie film relief. Tranter said similar thoughts need to be given to existing tax TV tax incentive regime amid fears that the UK has become over-reliant on Hollywood investment. She added that the cuts at the BBC and ITV had exasperated the situation. Tranter was given being evidence to UK Parliament's Culture, Media and Sport Committee, which, exa which is examining challenges faced by the film and high-end uh, high television industry. We need to look at some of the lower-end shows, which are too UK-focused really to attract any inward investment, and they are becoming increasingly difficult to make. Hmm. It's gotten a bit out of whack. Do we say that here in the UK? Have I missed something? Protection for those lower cost shows in the same way that my colleagues excellently got for the 15 million and under films in the UK would be really helpful. She added that US studios should be forced to make commitments to the UK economy, including training and investment outside of London, to access tax credits. She said this would stop global giants housing production in Britain, making a quick buck and then leaving. That's interesting phrasing. So what does that mean? Is she, is she worried that Disney are in for the quick buck and then going to bugger off? As far as it stands at the moment, they're only funding, what, two series of the show? So I actually wondered that. If it was a two series trial to see how well it would do with Disney being at the helm, at part of the helm, sorry, excuse me. And then if they decide they want to stick around, maybe they could potentially be doing a Kathleen Kennedy on Doctor Who. I don't know. Wow. Um, but then if they if they see that there's nothing in it for them and it's not a good investment, will they just like ditch the show and then leave? The former BBC executive argued that the pandemic, US strikes and streamer retrenchment had exposed the UK's dependency on Hollywood. Did the US strikes really, really do that? I mean, like how really, how much are we really that dependent on Hollywood? I mean, I know that I know that Wonka was Warner Brothers, but you know, I mean, well, how 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 many how many TV shows though? Because we we do mostly TV based stuff. How many TV shows are actually funded by other? like um, US studio companies and all of that. Maybe I'm just not as up on my TV shows as I thought I was now that I'm actually thinking about it. But as far as I was aware, the majority of the money for the uh, BBC came, came from the um, TV license fee that we are expected to pay. 
Anyway, let's carry on reading. The former BBC executive argued that the pandemic, US strikes and streamer retrenchment had exposed the UK's dependency on Hollywood. What it has done is it's just made the UK industry very aware of how reliant it has become on inward investment and how it wasn't always that way. More than 78% of the £4.2 billion pounds in that's 5.3 billion dollars spent on uk and film and tv productions in 2023 was from inward investment according to the british film institute bad world Wolf operates its own studio space in wales and trancher is a seasoned advocate for investment in the devo- devolved nation no, nation sorry the Sony Pictures Television backed company co producers uh, Doctor Who or BBC Studios with the new season starring Shooty Gatwa premiering on the BBC and Disney Plus on May 10th. But what does that mean by updating TV tax credits? Does that mean upping the cash, making it more expensive for us? What does that exactly mean? I mean, can't we just like, all work together nicely and produce good content without any woke bias is that even possible i mean the fact that we've got people like uh producers like from disney coming in now on our franchises what is that because we don't pay enough of the tv license to fund something like dot two or maybe is that just that should or maybe that is telling us that something like that if we are resorting to that then that that program needs to go is that what it's telling us you know if 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 eastenders started becoming funded by uh, i don't know um uh warner brothers themselves say imagine that i mean wow that would have been interesting but if that happened then is it time for something like eastenders to go is it time to review all of the programs and all of the funding and how much influence these companies are having. So I was just looking at the British Film Institute to see if I could find out what it exactly it was that she was talking about. I, I couldn't find it. I might have been looking in the wrong place. This is not a website that I frequent very much. But my question is, if these companies are putting in the money and then leaving quickly for a bang for the buck, does that mean that we need to increase the TV taxes? Or does that mean that these programs that they're jumping in on should just be finished? Rather than having us pay more, right? Let me know what you think. Chat about it, don't shout about it, and subscribe to the channel. I've got some polls going on this weekend, so if please do um, vote on these polls. The reason why these polls are going out is because I'm making some stuff which I think will be very fun to feature these particular polls on the channel, so don't forget to vote on those. They'll be up this weekend. Chat about it, don't shout about it. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.